The Rancor's Brothel presents... A Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Out of Out the of abyss. abyss. Whole person doesn't do shit to her? Just those two? Or Monstrosity. Monstrosity. She's a monster. Fuck. 18. Oh, sorry. 19. I roll high. Troy, what was yours? I'm sorry. 18. Cody. 20. Good rolls, gentlemen. Lucas. I also got a 19. Uh, I'm assuming that Troy's is higher. I would assume so. No. Troy, my, no, it was Matt. What's your, what's oh, your dex? Three. 17 plus 3. Okay, yeah, you're faster. I'm only a plus 2. <laughs> Just some pretty high scores. So. I rolled like a champ. Like fucking charisma. That's because he wasn't Chicago sitting at the table with us. Fuck you! I was right in there. What's the thirteen? Intelligence. Intelligence. So you're just ugly and a little dumb, but you're what? You're street smart. Yeah. The game starts at like nine. Depends, depends on getting up there. I try to explain to Natalie the difference between intelligence and wisdom because I may have accidentally stupid. Um, <laughs> I mean, Please speak into the mic. Schroeder likes to clip nope. these things. The, the easy, easy explanation is intelligence is book smarts, wisdom is street smarts. Well, I told her that intelligence is knowing that a tomato is a fruit and wisdom is knowing that it doesn't go to fruit salad. That's always the example I enjoy. She was still. <sighs> okay. Do we need to draw anything? Or- yeah, right on this thing poster if we need to roll a mat out we can i didn't know if you needed to or not for this no i don't think we do we okay. can we can do this kind of theater of the mind the trick is is whether um, or not you make I know a con roll feet away so yes you're the door and you guys the outer wall are, is 60 feet away from her um cody and matt you're both we'll say 40 feet down the stairs you mean kira and matt kira and matt yes <clears throat> you got 40 feet of stairs to get up there to her okay or it, up there into the room, and then 60 feet away from her. Sure. Unless she goes first, I think I do. Oh, I shouldn't have made you make a constitution save, but you we're good for now. Shouldn't have. It's within 30 feet. Oh, we, we saved. Let him save it for the next time. Come on. It's only fair. Nope. It's fine. We saved. We're good. Cody, you're up. Uh, I'm going to go charge I'm assu- you. You hear... I heard, I probably you- hear him go say, oh, fuck, it's a Medusa. Yes. Um... I go charging uh, up the stairs. My movement is 30, so it's going to take a double move to get up there. Okay. You can get 20 feet into the room. I will do that. Uh, Did you double move? Is that what you said? Yeah. Is igniting the sword a bonus action? Yes. It is. Yes. Okay. Then I'm just going to run in front of them, in front of them and go, <gasps> as bright as it'll go. Okay. In the hopes that that does something. Okay. Describe the room. Is it square? Uh, Cavern shaped. Cavern shaped. Yep. My favorite. Okay. Uh, Well, it's my turn, right? It is. Uh, I'm faster than him at 40. Yep. So I'm going to pass him along the wall. Huh? When I roll what? A 19? 19. Oh, okay. He was uh, 20, 19, 19, 18. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. I'm the little <laughs> man with 18. 18 is the last yeah. one. Um. So yeah, I'm going to double move as well, uh, but I'm going to go right along the cavern wall. Okay. Um, so I will end up 40 feet into the room. Okay. We'll say it's 30, f- it's a 60 foot, let's call it a 60 yeah, foot it's circle. A cavern. Whatever. Yeah. It's cavern-y. A rough hewn circle. And... Yeah, go, going at an angle around, around the room, you're say 30 feet away from her. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's all I can do. Okay. Run. Do run, run. Lucas. Run, do run. I throw a guiding bolt at her. Go for it. Um, yeah. It's a spell attack. It's a good roll seven, there. Seven. Wait, but I add seven, so it's a 14. That's a miss. Really? Some bitch. Anything else? Move or a bonus? Mm, no, because I'm at the edge of the room. Like, I can't get any further back. Yeah, you're right at the stairs. Yeah, I'll just stay where I'm at for now. Troy. <laughs> Was she... At the other end, or is she in the yes, center? Yes, she is at the other end. Um, I'm going to shoot her. Try to shoot her. Sure. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to as... Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, bonus action. I will cast Ensnaring Strike. Uh, 
Does a 16 hit? A 16 does not hit. Second attack. That's a little better. 20. I hope that hits. 20 does. It's probably a 17. So that's 8 damage. And I need a strength saving throw. Oh, the thing, the stats you sent me, do I have to use that alignment? I just made one little tweak. I'm just chaotic neutral. And you wonder why we wanted to stab you. Yeah. Okay. It's a sun sword. Yes. Yes. 17. Uh, That will probably pass. Okay. Does anything happen on a failed save? Or on a successful save? Nope. Okay. Just eight damage? Yep. All right. Uh, She's going to move 30 feet closer to you guys. Now we got to do our saves. You will. Uh, Let me make sure. Does the sun blade seem to affect her at all? No. Okay. So is she actually a drow? No. She's a Medusa. Uh, you'd say at one point she was, and she is going to cast a spell. It's hard to say what stone gaze would do to a stone creature. It's probably what's f***ing these things Meat up. gazer. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but... No, I was just saying meat gazer. It's from... You guys see her cast a spell, uh, make a perception check. What if I use counter spell? You can Maybe. if you want. 21. You would stop her from doing that. Are you, you going to, to use counter spell? If you do, you don't need per- you don't need perception. It's checks. a reaction. Twenty right? it is. Um, you just go. Nope, you didn't do that, lady. The creature casting a spell. If the creature is casting a spell a third level or lower, you just cause it, it to fizzle. Stops it, right? Yes. You just go. Other- no. Nope. Otherwise, I have to roll. Yeah, I'll attempt to stop her if I see her casting a spell. It stops. Boom. She probably looks pissed. And that does take a slot, right? Yes. Got one slot left. Um. Yeah, I stop her. She starts to cast, and I just go, ah, ah, and snap my fingers. Cool. And she's probably aggravated, I'm sure. <laughs> that's the... How many spell slots do you have? I only have three, so that's two out of my three right there. That's three out of three. No. Hold person, guiding bolt, counter spell. Oh, I did cast hold person. Sorry. Yep. You're right. Oh, I just broke my lead. No lead in this pencil. Sorry. Yep. You're right. I forgot to cross that one off. <coughs> I'm out of spell slots. I'll just throw shit at it. Oh, I'm... So we're really in the battle, too. Okay. So up. her spell did hey, not... I, I used three really good spells. Why don't you pop your wings, too? <laughs> I could. Her spell did not go off, so she will cast one as a bonus action. Can you <coughs> do that if you fail to she cast ne- one? She ne- she didn't cast one. You stopped her from casting one. Oh. It's, I, if she cast go- a miss, to be different than if you stop. It's go- it's going to... It, she's going to lose the spell slot. That's fine. It just seems shady. Go ahead. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> if I were a spellcaster character, I would make that argument. And so make the argument. Throw your spell. Yeah. Um, that was the sound of Lucas giving up. Yeah, I'm not even going to roll for it. I know who she's going to go after. Uh, uh, Probably me because I f***ed her up. Yep. A spectral whip appears behind you. There's no save for this. It's a spiritual it's weapon. An attack. Yeah. No. Oh. She she cast the low level spell. Mm-hmm. And will miss you. But cool. It's there. Uh, Cody, you're up. Um, you need to make a constitution saving throw unless wait, you're going to- what did to she a, cast? Unless Spiritual you're going weapon. to avert your eyes. Where's it at? Right behind me. Yeah, let's see about making- It's a saving throw, right? It is. 27. That was a nat 20 on the save. Cool. There's your card. Thanks, Bill Lingwall. Cool. Um, can I go hit her with the sun sword? You can. Uh- now, if I I don't have a shield, so I can hold it two handed for one d ten. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Plus, so it's one d ten plus one d eight if it's undead, or is there additional? One d eight. One d eight. Yeah. Period. Oh, it's just one d eight. Period. Yeah. It's two d eight damage, isn't it? It's two d eight, but if you're only a two handed, it's a, it's one d ten. I don't know where you're getting us all two d eight from. One d eight from the long sword and one d eight radiant. Yeah. So one of those d eights turns into a d ten. I don't think it's right. That's but I'll the way take it. Been playing it at least. I'd... I'll take it. No, I'm just looking at Sunblade going. Where I thought are you the entirety of its damage was radiant, no matter yes. what. But it's still so it's still two d eight though. It does deal that. It's just when you hit an undead, it deals an extra one d eight. Ah, is it only when it's undead? Pretty sure. I should be dealing one d ten plus seven plus I'm strength plus some two because it's a plus two sword. Right, it's one d ten plus my and it, yeah, strength. it's a plus two weapon. Yeah. Should be dealing 1d10 plus 5. I'm just putting it down on my stats so I remember. You got plus 2 to hit. No, I was just looking it up and I... I mean, Jeff's full of shit, but I'll take all the extra d8s that I can roll. I'm looking. Unless the sword is different in the book. 
Yeah, was it was it specific to this campaign? Well, it is, but it references Sunblade. Okay. I didn't mean, yeah, unless there's a different stat in the book, in the Out of the Abyss book. And all. Cody is absolutely right. It's only on Undead. Okay. I'd say, I sh- if undead? I'm willing it two-handed, it should just be 1d10 plus 5. Is she yes. Un- is she Undead? No. No, I don't, I don't, say, I don't think she well. uh, I'm going to take a swing on her. Screaming, I have the power. Uh, 22 to hit. 22 does hit. Um, I'm going to roll my d10 plus 5. Uh, so that's nine damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use that, Jeff, which allows me to add another d10 of damage. Cool. That's to the attack roll. Oh, it's to the attack. Oh, not the damage roll? Yeah. Sorry, I read it wrong. Oh. Yeah. I thought attack it was an extra d10 damage. Check. He's right. My fault. I read it wrong. Um, You got dice you can use though, right? Yeah, but I mean, does anyone want to get closer to her? I'm I mean, going to because of my totem thing, so we'll get a bonus. If you want to move for free, I can get you closer automatically, Matt. How much movement do I get for free? Half, of half, so twenty feet. That's and I'm twenty feet away from her. Yeah, yeah so pop me you, up there. Put you right You're thirty feet away from her. No. Yes, that's what I said. It was forty up the stairs and then sixty to her, and I went eighty feet. And she moved. You went around the room, bitch. You did say that, sir. All right, that's, never mind. Don't worry. That's about an it. extra six for fifteen damage total. Take it. Go ahead and get closer. I don't want to draw her fire yet. Uh, I uh, will yeah, use my extra attack to swing again. Yep. Uh, 20 hit. 20 does. Uh, that's another 9 damage. Would you like to get a little closer, Matt? Yeah. Uh, so that I'll add be. another, I'll add another 5 to that, so, um, and then I can, Matt can move up to half again. So, so I'm you up on her. Yeah, you moved, you moved him twice, then yeah, you're good. Uh, bonus mm. action... I imagine when I run, it's on all fours. From my, you know, that picture almost reminds me of uh, the fly. Uh, well, that looks like Brundle fly. Do you want to do that like or want to go on the defensive? Something from the dark, <laughs> the dark crystal. <laughs> I will. Um, Maybe like a creature. After slashing her twice and burning the shit out of her face hole, um, I will um, go on uh, take my defensive stance, standing beside Matt. Okay. So those strider things that they used to the thing road. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, I feel like Kira screams something to the fact of, um, uh, your hair, your hair looks ugly like that, you bitch. Okay. Something to that effect. I couldn't really think of anything. It's been a long week. Lucas, you're up. Ya bitch! All right, well, I'm out of slots, so, um, at this point I just throw shit at it. So let's do that. So I'll throw two Eldritch Blasts at it, because I can. Make a constitution save. For throwing an Eldritch Blast? For looking at her. For looking at her. She moved up. Oh. Oh, I thought we had to do that earlier. Why is it just do turn? it every turn? Oh, yeah. Matt goes before me. You're right. He's right. Go ahead. Uh, well, I'm going to get behind her. Smart idea. So I'm right next it, to her. Everybody's constantly moving. You okay. still have to make so a I constitution need to do a con at the beginning. Okay. Unless you're going to avert your eyes. Um, you don't. No, I am going to yell rage, but whatever. Um, you're going to yell what? Rage! Uh, How okay. do you say that in the Bostonian accent? Rage. <laughs> I don't know. Um... <laughs> Would you say you're raging against the dying eye? Why don't you say Wicked Rager? 13 on the con. It doesn't seem like a very good number, just FYI. Uh, you are restrained. Okay. What's that mean? Uh, look it up in the back of the player's handbook. No, you tell me. You tell me I'm no, restrained. You I don't tell me. fucking know it. You, you, you know, I, mean, use his, I think it just means you can't move. move. You're stuck. But I can hit. You can still uh, perform actions. Yes. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure. Restrained is not paralyzed. A restrained creature's speed becomes zero, and it can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Creatures, ha- The creature has a adva- disadvantage on dex saving throws. So you have an attack at disadvantage. Okay. Well, uh, like I said, I yell rage. Nine or eight. So nine. Uh, plus, uh, Fifteen. Hit. Miss. Okay. I'm extra attack. Gonna miss. Sucks. Okay. Big Whiffa. Okay. Miss Miss with a great axe. Now it's Lucas. Con save, right? Yes. Uh, for the record, though, hang on. I did rage, so that means my friends have advantage on melee attack rolls against any creature within five feet of me that is hostile towards me. That's why I moved you closer to me. Yep. 16. Thank you, Charmaine. 16. Con save. 16 passes. Okay. Then I will throw an Eldritch Blast at her face. 
7 plus 7 is 14 is a miss. It is. So, oh my god, I can't even read that. And you have glasses on. 17. 17 hits? Yes! 17 is your uh, threshold. I forgot the d10. Where are my d10s? Where are my d10s at? So, like, do I do that? 15 form? force damage. 15 force damage? 9 plus, because I get 5 extra because of my thing. Yeah. I get a plus 5 on my Eldritch Blast. You, you started nine, with the word 9. 9, 10, 11 to 14. 14 damage. Trailed off there. I didn't hear it. Was that a niner? <laughs> Were you calling him from Walkie Talkie? Shut up, Richard. <laughs> Your head has the shell on it. Um, Troy. Oh, do you have anything else? No, nobody's been hit yet, so I don't need to do that. Nope. So. Constitution save. 15. 15 passes. Do I have to do it again? Like, what happens? We'll see. Like, can I shrug it off? How does that work? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Normally, when we have played, it depends on the creature. You make it once, and then you're usually good for like a day or a minute or a combat or what have you. Yeah. I'm going to imagine that a creature that has a gaze attack, this is probably a big part of its kit. It, either it just sucks that or... I have a plus seven con save. Well, sure does. Roll less like garbage. I guess these guys could have given you a card. I'm new. Don't waste it on me. Uh, I'm going to attack. And with the bonus action, I'm going to do my planar warrior, so it's all going to be force damage, and I get an extra D8. Force! 16 or 8 minor. Wait, are you rolling with advantage? Yeah. You said you got advantage. On melee oh, attacks. within I'm five feet. Melee oh. attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Of course. What'd you get? A four. Oh. Um, but a 20 will hit again, right? 20 will. That's right. Plus sneak attack, because you got people next to it, right? He's You're not a rogue. not a rogue? He's a ranger. Also oh. starts with an R. I got your I thought double max damage. A rogue. <laughs> Uh, 20. 20. Oh, the sneakies. I thought it was a red. Nope. nope. Anything he's else? A, he's a Duna Move. Dine. Um, I mean, I can't get away from her except for leaving the room, right? Yep. So, Go nope. like this. <laughs> Just don't look at her. Bonus action, close eyes. You can do that at the beginning of your turn, but nice. it affects you all turn oh. and you don't have Shit. line of sight. I meant to on. ask. What does it take to use the uh, elemental stone? An action. Okay. Mm. We told you. It's Geodude, I choose you, and then you throw it down on the ground. Yes. Yeah, I, that doesn't... That's how it works. I didn't it, watch Pokemon, so I don't know what this you're talking about. It takes an action to break the stone and use it. Okay. Not a terrible idea. Brothel Night at the Movies, Detective Pikachu with Troy. <gasps> I mean, I I'll go watch to... that movie. Nothing's so funny. With Ryan Reynolds? Sure. Okay, so Kira and Mor- and Matt, I keep wanting to call you Morik, are in, me- in melee with it, right? Fact. Okay, Lucas, I'm going to do you first. You have a spiritual weapon attacking you. Mm, forgot about that. 17? Uh, that is a success. Is that? No, probably not. That probably doesn't trigger Sentinel, because the spiritual weapon is actually doing the attacking. Uh, sh- and he is not within your reach. No. Not him, it's when the creature is within my reach. Oh, yeah, no, that, that does not trigger it. Be fucked up if it did, though. Well, I mean, that's the thing, is if she tries to shoot at Troy, it does, because I'm standing next 13 to 13 damage? Yeah. There's actually an old build in third ed in one of the, I think it's in the fighter cleric book or whatever, or the fighter <clears throat> barbarian book. You could be like a bodyguard. So like as long, that's kind of what Sentinel is sort of based off of. You could like throw yourself in front of somebody else and give them like full cover. And like, as long as they were within five feet of you, you could position yourself to keep them out of harm's way and you did yeah, extra damage and shit. there's a feat for that in this. Well, right. I mean, Sentinel is part of the, that uh, concept the, from third ed. The knight is built that way. Yeah, but it's not it's not quite the same. It's similar, yes. Because I looked at doing that as well. It's a cool class. I enjoy it. I played it today. In fact, I might go to that if I have to. I really liked it. That would involve you being in heavy melee combat. Mm-hmm. No archers. Nope. Cody. I'm waiting for you to attack somebody else. She's attacking huh? you. Is she not is she attacking somebody? She already got She's me. going to attack you. Oh. Well, that's not someone else. That's dumb. Matter of fact, she just she just reaches out and touches you. Does she have disadvantage Reach due to the sunlight? No. Me. No. Okay. We established that. Just checking. Oh, I'm sorry. 17 to hit. Sure. Yeah. Sure. You remember when Mulvaeus died? This is a very similar to a, a similar effect to that. Uh, that's 23 points of necrotic damage. Get fucked me. You're up. Didn't hurt, bitch. <laughs> Make a constitution save. 24. 24, you're good. 
Uh, I will, yeah, uh, attack with a sunsword. 21 to hit. That'll hit. Burn, bitch! Uh, that's 13 damage. Lucas, would you like to move back? Uh, if I move back, I'm out of the room. I'm at the doorway. You can move me, like, to one side or another. No, away from this I'll try and, thing. No, I'll try and move her. Uh... So that was what thirteen damage. I'm going to spend the superiority die, superiority die, Jeff. Okay. To do an extra four. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. How much did you do? Seventeen total now. Seventeen total. And she needs to make a strength saving throw. Fourteen. Yeah, she's good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll again. Do I? I don't get advantage with Matt unless he's actually like. That's not just an effect. Right, right? now he is raging. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you should have had advantage on that last hit, though. <clears throat> yeah. That's a 26. I need a 27. That's not it. I hit again. Okay. Uh, you can use your card, too. Nine damage. Uh, 17 damage again. And I want another strength saving throw from her. I'm going to try and shove her across the room. If you move her out of my five feet, you'd lose the advantage of the melee. I'll just push her back and make her come back to me. <clears throat> Nine. Uh, she moves back. She moves straight back fifteen feet. Straight back fifteen feet. Okay. Um. Yeah. I am going to then step in front of Matt and um take my defensive stance. Okay. Does that work without a pole arm? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's I just didn't. not as effective because it's five feet shorter. Yeah, and I just didn't know if that mattered. That's n- that's not a part of pole arm master. That's tunnel fighter. Defensive stance is tunnel fighter. Okay. Polar Master is, is a feat. It's a, yeah, yeah, he's right. Okay. Yep. yep. Now, there's a problem, Matt. On your round, you neither dealt nor received damage. But I attacked. But you did not. You did it, it, it is attacked, not dealt damage. Okay. Correct. Cool. Attacked or received damage. Yeah. Make a constitution save. And if I don't, then the rage will end because I'm not close enough to hit her. So the benefit will be gone. I know how rage works. I got you. Okay. That's a good roll. 21. Okay. The statistical likelihood of you failing that twice was pretty low. Yeah. I I was going to laugh. It's Matt. I, I would have really laughed as well. Laugh. Matt's going to I would have laughed if this entire round when Matt is... I haven't decided yet. I'll have to see how you roll. You're probably a very broken barbarian. Um, I'm not broken. Pretty standard. The character may be broken, but the build thing. Okay. Uh, you had started to turn to stone. Uh, making that save ends it. So you're good for right now. Okay. I'm going to run up and hit the bitch. Hit the bitch. Uh, still raging. As before. Plus, okay. Crip fail. <coughs> Hopefully you stub your toe or your rage will end. I guess you did run over towards her. Yeah, she he attacked. Your weapon bounces off. Oh, on the rebound. Your weapon bounces off the target and strikes you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Take the weapon's damage and you have disadvantage on your next attack. I like the thought that I pushed her across the room, burning her yet again, even though I'm mortally wounded. Um oh, I rolled bad damage. Eight damage. Good for you. To my face. I step gallantly in front of Matt. Matt pushes aside and he's like, Ah, wicked pissa! Let me show you how it's done. And then he runs up, swings with the axe, and it just bounces off the wall like goddamn rubber and comes back and just cleaves him in his own face. Yeah. Can you take a cleave action? So I'm super pissed. Yeah. So I go to bite her. Okay. Uh, that is a 21 to bite. Okay. Four damage. Uh, and I need a, a con save. That'd be a one for the listening audience. Okay. What, is the roll? con save for poison? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you need to worry about that. She's immune anyway. Snakes and all. Uh, snakes are venomous, not poisonous. He's got a point. No, she's immune. It's all good. I mean, spiders are venomous too. I don't know why. Fine. I would have just hit her with the great axe, but I'm an idiot, so. <laughs> the great axe does a lot more damage than the bite. I slate that, Cody. No, I wanted to poison her. I, if Schroeder gets around to it, because he says he's been snipping things, and I'm curious as what his folder is, I just want to do like a minute long intro of Matt saying he's an idiot. I'm 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 an idiot. I do it like 45 seconds one time of Dustin saying, uh, in one 15 minute episode. I remember that. Yeah. 
All right. So Lucas. now it's on me. I'm not within her range, so I'm good. Yep. Um, but she's still within mine, so I'll just throw shit at her. It's a That's good roll. A fail. It's a good roll. Oh, hey, I have resistance to bludgeoning damage because I was r- raging. You do. Would that have affected my damage taken? Are you using uh, a bludgeon, bludgeoning, bludgeoning item? <laughs> slashing. Yeah, it's you? an axe. It's slashing. Oh, it's an axe. I kept thinking it was a hammer. My bad. Nah. Which direction do you want me to go? I don't know. What's it say? Off we go. You teleport 50 feet in a direction randomly determined by the GM. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Up is a direction. <laughs> He's got wings. Pop them. I vote down. Into the rock. <laughs> it's a pretty dick move, but yeah. Because I would just die. Yeah. Okay. And then you could be. I'm going to roll a D6. Okay. One, you pop right next to her. Sure. Uh, two or three, you go one one side or the other. Okay. Four, you go back. Five, you go up. Huh? Six, you go down. Five or six. Five or it's six. A dick move. But Those I... are the most fun. Hey. Hey, it's a three dimensional space. I know it says up as a direction, not down. If up, if is, up a is a direction, direction down so is also a direction. <laughs> mm, that's through a wall, but go ahead. Teleport. That well, could be through a ceiling, too, if it's 50 feet. Like, you can use that to kill people. <laughs> you could teleport them Ooh. into walls. Oh, no. I forgot something. <laughs> Fair address? Five or six. You pop left. Okay. 50 feet. You're on the other side of the room. Boo. Okay. Boo. Um, so I'm in another Roll room. me a d20 just to see. Okay. <laughs> it's a 10. It's a 10. Okay. Boo. If you'd rolled a one, I would have had you come out in the wall. No, that's fair. So am this I in a different, pla- I'm in a different place room? This fa- fairly heavily fares rest up. So oh, come yeah. We haven't been roll rolling that, that at all. Oh, I know. For her either. Yeah, I haven't. Okay. You're blue enough. Cool. So am I in a different room I'm now? No, blue enough. I said you're I've on, never been blued enough. Room. Okay, and then I'm still in the same room. Yes. I still get my now make attack. a constitution save. Am I 50 feet closer to her? Because she was at the back of the room, the room and I went left. You went around. You're either going to go into the wall or you're going to go around the room. Which do you want? Okay. <laughs> I'm a dick. I just sent you into another damn room entirely. Probably the one full of drow. But I'm mean like that. 15. 15, you're good. Okay, now can I take my other attack? Yes, you can. Thank you. Roll low. No, wait one. a minute. Wait a minute. I have. I get. I get two Eldritch blasts. I only threw one. Okay. Yeah, it's a separate attack. It is okay. a separate attack. Yep. Um, I rolled an eighteen plus that'll, that, seven. That'll so hit. hit. That'll hit. Uh, Teleporting him again would have been a dick move. No, I was going to have the first one cancel out the second. Fourteen damage again. Fourteen. Blaster in the face. And now that I'm do, 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 do. away from that thing. Yeah, wait. No, wait. Go ahead. At least I'm no longer near the uh, spiritual weapon. Like, way away from their spiritual weapon. Troy, you're up. Constitution. No, you're far enough away. Far enough away. I pushed it away, so hopefully we don't have to do that shit anymore. Um, that's 20-something to hit. Mike. That's a 20-something to hit. Thank that you. will hit. Uh, bonus action for ensnaring strike. Okay. It's going to seven on the damage, and I need a strength saving throw, please. Fifteen. God damn you! Wait a minute. I have a question about that. So that's my that goes against my spells save DC, right? Yes. yes. Which is figured as eight, eight plus, plus ability plus mod plus proficiency. Eight. It's eleven plus your proficiency mod, so it's probably fourteen or a fifteen. Okay. Because mine's a thirteen. Like it, they're not great. Like it's one of the things I don't like because it used to be ten, wasn't it? Ten plus. And now it it's went eight. up by level. That's right. They don't, it doesn't really, yeah. It's whatever. It used to be like 10 plus your ability. She's the person. Plus half your caster level. I think she's the first or second person in 60 episodes I've actually pushed. Because the DC's 13. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, when I when I was playing Davin, I had, I got my, wis- my wisdom up to a plus six. And that made my spell save, a, it was eight plus. It'd be 17. Yeah, 17. So. Uh, of another attack. That's going to hit two. 20 something again. Shoot her in the face. For another eight. Maybe. Another eight. Damage. Another eight damage. How does she look? Pretty beat to hell. The This entire count in, encounter is pretty much how quickly can you kill her before something bad happens. Right. So far, so good. Yeah, a little cut of me. 
<laughs> well, I mean, it's nice to have somebody uh, to play off of again. to me. I'm going to guess by this positioning, Jeff, that I'm no longer standing adjacent to her since I shoved her and only took like a step up. Yes. Okay. I'm just making sure I'm not going to get anything if she decides to wallop on Matt. I should not get any whatevers. No, you shoved her 15 feet and Matt went around you. Yes. He's digging. Give that dog a CPAP. He's digging at his ears. Needs his nails trimmed so he's not, they're not so sharp. She's going to move the spiritual weapon over to Troy and take an attack. Whip it. It's a 22. 16 damage. Ow. So I turn around. What kind of damage is that? My desiccated bubonic plague chest. Ow, I got hit by a whip. The f*** is all that dice. No, nobody knows. Uh, no, going. it's necrotic damage. I do know. My chest hurts. Who are you attacking? She's healing. She lo- She reaches it up and touches herself, and she looks much better. Uh, and she will move around Matt. She's not moving out of your range, so you don't get an attack. She's just moving around you, so she is closer to everyone else. Okay. And that'll be Cody. Did Cody's she move dead. within? Did she move within five feet of my reach? I'm assuming she did when she circled. I Probably. hope she didn't do anything yes. with her spiritual weapon. Then she did. Get, then you get. She moved attack. it over and hit Troy. Tunnel she fighter gives me get all the way to him. Yeah. Tunnel fighter gives me an opportunity to attack on her. Go for it. Twenty-two for eight points of damage. Okay. Uh, I need to be within five feet of you to get the advantage. No. No, I have to be within five feet of her. Yes. So I have advantage right now because mm-hmm. we're basically flanking yep. her. Yep. Cool. Quit healing, you stupid snake, bitch. That might be my first miss. 15 hit. 15 oh, misses. Oh, okay. That's all right. Uh, extra attack. Jesus. Dice have gone cold. Dice have gone real cold. Two misses. Okay. Uh, Matt, you're up. Seven, 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 and two. Those are low yep. numbers. Then, yep. Swinging with the great axe. Uh, 19. Oh, you both need to make constitution saves. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, uh, my turn's already over. Can I, I don't use, need to do it. Can I just use no. that? Can I just use what I just rolled then? Huh? Can I just use what I just rolled? You can save that for your attack. For the attack? Okay. I make it. This is a 14. A 14 meets. Okay. Wait, meets bad. No, meets, meets good. good. Meets good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so then I It hit. is barely a pass. Speaking, does 18 I have hit? brisket in the other room. 18 does mm. hit. 18 Meat is good. Uh, seven damage, and then we're gonna try it again. What is that? Sixteen. Yeah. So twenty-two to hit. That does hit for a further ten damage. Okay. If you could take it back and make me roll that, then I'm gonna take it back and say that I went on the defensive again. Tommy. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just hoping she's gonna hit you now. Fair enough. Matt, anything else? Oh, I'm sorry. Add four to those damages. That was my rage. I didn't add my rage damage. Oh, okay. Sorry. So that was a total of adding four. Edder caps just have two adding arms, right? Yeah. Four total? Four total. It was two yeah, for two each. each. Yeah. Okay. I just like this idea that this... Like I was holding two great axes? <laughs> no, no. I mean, we, we will fight those things eventually. Um... <laughs> I just, I just wonder how big a great axe looks, or how small a great axe looks while you're holding it. I'm only five feet tall. Yeah, yeah, but, medium. but you're fucking huge, aren't you? Like, no, 160 pounds. Really? I thought yeah, they were bigger. They're than not that. big. Lucas, you're That's up. creepy. You look husky in the photos. It's where the shot. He's not fat. He's um, big bone. Wait, am I in her range? Had her cat big and tall. I was all the way on their side of the room now. So high or low? Well, you said she moved. So this is what we should have drawn this. Drawn this up. Drone. High or low? Drone. High. The spice room. It's one through ten, so it's low. You're out of range. Cool. Um, it's worth a shot. Give me a wisdom how, save. How you? I shall face a wisdom save. Seventeen. Yep, she got it. What'd you cast? Told the dead. Oh. Move um, bonus. Is anybody down really low? You're getting serious. Is anybody really down, down really low on health? Uh, no. I mean, I took half my health, <laughs> so... Take two back. Sweet. Appreciate Best it. I do on that roll, sorry. Pre- appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks. I feel like office spacing you right now. 
I'm going to put my That'd be great. stapler in a thing of jello. What would you yeah. say it is exactly that you... That's the office. Do no, the office. Sorry. <laughs> that was the office. I was going to let it go. <laughs> no, they're both <laughs> swing. They're both... Oh, he said put my swing yeah. line. So he said put a stapler in jello. I did. Jello. Yeah, it worked. Line, did the swing line it's an office show. My stapler-ish. And then he became the man Troy. in the high castle. You're up. I'm up, so I'm going to do the whole force damage. I don't really think again. about that. Okay. The dude from news radios. <laughs> 19 to hit. 19 will hit. They're both crazy people. Not great. Uh, 10 damage. 2d8. Plus 4. Yeah, the plus 4 really. Should have done better. Second hit. Artadek. It's a natural 20. Yes. Yay! Somebody had to roll one at some point. Jesus. I mean, I I mean we used statistic- up a lot of our credit for Nat Twenties last game. We statistic- like we were rolling. Kind of did. You, you right. and I both rolled a yeah. one. So triple damage. Trip, trip, triple damage. Oh God! What kind of attack is this? It's an arrow. Nice. A twelve. I see like a lot of ones and twos over yeah. there, bro. A twelve. What's that one called? Neck wound. <laughs> triple damage. <laughs> okay, it doesn't go through her neck. It goes right through her eye. Nice. And she'll go down on all of us in turn. Yeah. I I cut her hair off. I was going to cut her head off. Cut the whole head off. Like, he, Nexus will scream at you, cut the head off. Like I said, you've really become like the Dr. Oz of magic around here. I don't know that I trust anything that you say. <laughs> um, I'm proficient. <laughs> sure. Okay, they've, they've cut the, the head off. Uh, I'm proficient with poisons. I, does, does she... Smell poisonous. <laughs> yes, she she smells venomous. Venomous. Okay, just curious. Uh-huh. I'm gonna take a vial. Sure. From my poisonous kit. Is there anything else on her person? Uh, no. But in the room, you can find some very fine drow gowns that Malvaeus is pretty sure that she, that he could sell for a fair price. Can you tell? Is there any symbols on there that he could tell what house she's from or was from? Uh, make me a history check. It's been a while since you've been to Men- Menzo Baranzi. Ooh. You don't know when I was... Was she wearing drow robes? Yeah, probably. When you guys came in, she was wearing armor. Mm, kind of I really armor. like the phrase drow gown. It's a four on history? Nope. Um, no. Wasn't that... There, there, there is a symbol. Dragon? Um, you will find a house emblem, but you don't recognize it. Uh, it's really unfortunate. I would give house Lannister. Kira and Nexus a history check means it's 17 that's better than mine you remember this symbol uh you've seen it once before on a scarred guard in valkenmelv stellan i mentioned this thing Alexander. to ah uh, well, i mentioned this thing to kira because kira guards. is probably the only other one that would remember remember where that who that was <laughs> i wrote down house vandry and house duskrin you would remember uh jorlin duskrin yeah who was the one who the, tried to break you out. Yes. There you go. Uh, what kind of armor is she wearing? Like, is that useful to any of us? It would be medium armor. But it's not. It's nothing special, though. It's nope. just standard armor. Okay. Anything and else? Nothing else in this room, though. No, that's it. Well, that was fun. <coughs> You're making your old man motions like you want to step, stand up. Yes, and I'm going to stand knees. up and move. I got to yeah. pee anyway. How old was this? did this person look? Can For you, an elf? Yeah. I mean, is this matron mother or is this a young elf? Not young, but... Not young, but not super old. Gotcha. Matter of fact, there's been a lot of transformations to this drow that really might throw it off. That's fair. So what are you guys doing? You found some pretty gowns. Drow gowns. Drow gowns. That you're pretty sure you can sell drow drow gowns on uh, HBO this Sunday. (laughs) Um, By the time so, this airs, that show will be over. Yeah. <laughs> Six 90-minute minimum episodes. Yeah. I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> Until my wife was like, every Monday, you have to be in charge of making coffee. <clears throat> I say that now. The next, the episode that we record when that series is over, if I'm like, if it was a Seinfeld ending, I'm just going to be like, fucking erase everything Matt ever said about fucking game. Anyway. Bam, ba bam, 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 bam. They always go to jail and just have a chat. It's probably going to be more like the Sopranos where it just cuts to black. Um, you have two more rooms off that main chamber down down below. So this dead ends here. This upper stairwell ends, yep. ended in chamber. this. 
of horrors. Let's go to the far left. Can't be any worse than this room, can it? I so mean, the way Cody yes. wanted to go the first time. Yes, yes. not the century one. The okay. way of the beatenness. So, hey, so if we like, uh, oh, park the car and have it. <laughs> <laughs> so he How was looking now? through How those now? crystals. Cri- crystal, whatever. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> would that have stopped her? Like, she tried to turn me into rocks. Dr. Oz. I didn't quite hear the question. Cause Healing the, crystals? The, the stone uh, stone gnome downstairs. He was trying to look through a crystal at something before he turned into, uh, you know. Didn't quite work, though, did it? If we had a I useful he, cleric, we might be able to heal, heal him so that he, he could tell us. He was. Tr- he, I don't think he quite got there, you know? Yes, yeah, somebody made an insight check. He was bringing it up to his eyes. <laughs> Is that a, like, like, should we get some of them crystals? Is there more of this shit down here? Yeah, there was like a whole garden. No, more of the uh, stone turny things. You think about it, and you're pretty sure that you could use one of those to look through and avoid a gaze attack, at least getting advantage on the constitution save. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to grab a couple of them rocks. It's a good idea. It's hard to use with a two-handed weapon. What if I, like, uh, I can use it. What do I do that? <laughs> can, I, can I fashion them into my goggles? Right here, right now? Well, not right here, right now, no. Right I'm just going to put now. them inside my goggles and wear them like two <laughs> pairs of goggles over the top of each other. Just pull the goggles out, stick them over my eyes, and... Yeah, I'll just web one to my face. No, I'll just not be a bitch and roll a ten or better. <laughs> so we're going down to the far left. Yeah, no, actually taking crystals is a good idea. In case there are more of these things. Okay, uh, you guys go downstairs into a a very large chamber. Uh, you see a you see a ton of statues down here. What do these statues? We have put? crystals. We all have a crystal. Is I'm this saying that now? Is this a fucking Mister Tumnus situation here, or what the hell is going on? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's like are they statues of com- this varying creatures? Is Santa Claus gonna say uh, this? They're they're varying creatures, but they're all dressed very similarly. They're all about the same size. They all have pointy ears. They're all drow. The magic before time. You could guess that. They're definitely elves. Do they have, do any of that? Of what they're wearing, can you see symbols, like house symbols on them? Probably, yeah. Do the clothes turn to stone too? Yeah, everything, yes. everything turns to stone. We don't see race here, Lucas. Especially when they're made of stone. I said houses. No, but you could tell. <laughs> you could infer what Lucas was trying to suggest. No. No, not you at think all. it's funny that the word sexist is gender neutral? That's been making me giggle lately. You need to go do stand up somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're rolling here for sure. Um, Fuck off. <laughs> that was not a one liner. How big is this room? Like a, I haven't decided I, yet. You wanna? I need to. I need a map. Uh, so Jeff is laying out what appears to be at least 20 little pieces of bullshit that each one... Oh, no, that one says 28. There might be 30 of these fuckers. I mean... Although, if I were Jeff, I would... Math, be- Lucas, we have five rows of five. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. There's one right, there's two right there. So not... We're, we're at 28 out there. Not to insult Jeff here, but his girth has been in my way for most of this laying down. All I could see was when he sat down 28 and went, holy shit. Speaking of most of his girth and laying down... I was going to make a lewd comment. Ah, like Matt's this. got one. So this is like a straight up fucking statuary. This is a goddamn grave. See, what would have been oh, fun is to come... It must be made of metal. Uh, I don't know where I put my figurine. Jeff, I'm up, I'm up there on top of the cards. Write more. Write more. Write more. Write more. Write more. Down a oh, little. Oh, I'd go I up front. It. I'm brave. I was... Let's see. There were crit cards and key forge cards and more key forge cards and then spell cards. All of which were correct in my descriptor. Well, yeah. Did Fargus go with us? No. Couldn't He's remember. around here somewhere. I couldn't remember who he was. Almost as if he might pop in any minute. And turn us all to stone. Lucas, would you give me a good picture of this from that side? Zoom in on it. Do one without your finger oh. as well. You can do the one with the finger. I don't care. Thank you. Thank you for zooming in like I asked. 
Cody, could you take a picture? <laughs> I didn't hear the zoom in thing. I was too busy for doing this. Like, I just want to see these guys. Oh, oh, for God's sake. Thank you. Post that shit on social media. I am, because if you're playing as an editor cap, what do you use as a minifigure? You don't post that you're playing as an editor cap because the audience doesn't know that yet. I know. Spider me, spider me, does whatever I want to do. A but um, psh. Eat my ass, you fing wad. Legit crystal. That's a stripper's name. Sometime, Matt, if you would really like to study the Bostonian accent, you need to see the Fenway thing about throwing the pizza. Just watch okay. Ted and Ted 2 a couple times. You'd be fun. Yeah, like I got those. <laughs> I can watch those. I cast Dancing Lights. Okay. And just <laughs> move them about the statues. Do we okay. see, see anything more in the room besides just statues? No, you see statues. All in various poses. Some look horrified. Some look surprised. Some look aroused. Maybe. I'm not sure there's any way to reverse this. If only we had a cleric. What, can I roll Arcana to know if there's a way to reverse this? Sure. Just push a couple of them over and see if they fall out of the stone. I just chisel them out, right? Tink, 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 uh, 14. tink. 14. 14? You're pretty sure a greater restoration would do it. Yeah, none, none of us are going to have that. Not Lester? Not but Lester. I, expl- I explain this. Make me another Arcana check. For? For the reason that I told you to do it. That one's less, so that's a 10. That's a 10. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Uh, whoever gave you that spell gem cast a higher level spell into it than Greater Restoration. Mm. Okay. The hollow, the hollow that you're supposed to place in the temple? Yeah. That's a higher level spell than Greater Restoration, I believe. If not, it's equal. So you Is can this, sack are, are it Are we if to you assume to? that these doorways we're walking through is part of the temple? You haven't seen anything that resembled any kind of a shrine or anything like that. It's not entirely true. Up on the waterfall, there was a dais. The, it, yeah, it was just a raised platform. Rock me on a dais. Um, had a theater professor who spray painted that on a dais we built. Hollow, spray painted rock me. Hollow and greater restoration are equal level. Thought it was the funniest goddamn thing. Oh, it's it definitely cute. Okay. So then, if I place this in the right spot, these people might be. Ed Professor, no, my somewhere now. back in the city, there's someone who can cast that spell. I didn't think it was funny. Oh, okay, but why would they want to save a bunch of drow? I don't know. You were asking about saving these people. Okay, who would that be that had that? I don't remember who gave. Us the it was gen. a priest that was a part of the Stone Heart Enclave. No, say it right. Say it right. No retconning on the this. The Stone Hat. Stone Hat Enclave. Stone Hat. Uh, I think today's episode was the first time that was mentioned. Stone Hat Enclave. Stone Hat. Okay. Good old Stone Hat. Hey, this I, is a cave. It's full of Stone Hat ons. I will note that. Yeah, fucking yep. wad. To speak to that individual later. Here comes plus, a pizza. Plus, there was a deep gnome petrified in the other room. This is true. Okay. Um, I'm going to go right up the middle, Jeff. I want to put that gnome in my yard. <laughs> right where you park your car. <laughs> You're going to go right up the middle where? <laughs> Once you get perfectly in the middle of the room. I'm just going to I'm just going life. to just like you would in a cemetery. I'm just going to walk through the middle and just okay, glance up and down I the road. Everyone to roll for initiative. <laughs> See? Prick. We've got to find it at some point. We can tap dance around it all you want. 14 15 Is that a crit one? You don't get a one otherwise <laughs> I know, You could have had a negative I don't know You could have had a two with his minus one on initiative Don't roll. you have a Was thing that you can roll a d10 with On a skill cha- skill roll? I'm pretty sure it's not going to count on a, yeah, a crit one That's a skill one. check It's a skill check You're going to change my result of a crit one if I use it No, you still See? roll a one okay. that's, they're, they're the, It's a skill check It It isn't an automatic fail I know what I'm. So what, what I'm telling you is, what is your initiative mod? So you got a four. No, I a haven't rolled three. yet. That total might make a difference. I'm a total of three. A total of three. But you could the make chances it bigger are, by rolling that d10. I really don't 
like at this the problem now is that i've rolled a one and given jeff a card i can yes. give a fuck less whether i'm at the bottom i don't care it's about fine. that i got an 11 what's that word no okay i can care what's that mean no like that's in your typically in french and in latin it means no i can't remember what the whole thing oh, is other words one of those. No, not. That's, that's the Grady motto. No. 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 <laughs> that's what I fucking thought. Actually, non usually in Latin usually means not. It is not in this case. I use a lot of bread. I eat a lot of non bread. We have big toast in the morning, put omelets on it. All right. I'm not very good with Latin, well, so I don't know exactly how it's said. Is there a thing you want to. Nobody does. Move. I want everyone to Latin. roll me a D100. No, actually, I take that back. Give me 3D10. Three. I got D10. one. And add them up. Three. Between us or three each? Three each. Seven. And add them up. Oh, three each? Oh. That's a lot. Eighteen. Same Seventeen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Eighteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. <coughs> I don't know how you say it, but I know it's it's broken, not conquered is the family motto. Okay. That's what I'm trying to figure out what that word was. Vulneritus. Okay. So you're literally a broken family. Not beat. Can anybody read the numbers on those? Yes. Or, yes. That's, that's an part. eight. That's yeah. all I can read. That's a four. Niner. So. so glad you put them in order. I didn't want them in order. What, which one would you like to move? The deadly one. I thought you had some of these that were uh, like blue. This one something. says infinity. Oh, that's an eight. You could use that long stick back there to move them around. That's true. Well, we should get them like a thing from the craps table. Numbers 9, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. How do we know if it's a 9 or a 6? There's a line underneath. Okay, I got 9. What were the other numbers? 16, 17. Here's 17. Oh, here's 20. Okay, 20 and 9 are in the outer corners here. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. So three corners and this one. Okay, the two at the, at the back start moving towards Cody. Oh. So 19 and... The other three, I guess there should, there should be four more. Yeah. Yeah. You got one, you got one, you got these three that I got my fingers on. Oh, those three. Okay. Those three will start moving towards Cody. The other three will start moving towards the others at the at the stairs. How fast? I feel like they're going to do this. I agree. You're right. They move 10 feet. They'll double move if they're not close enough to you. All right. I got two on my nuts. Do you want this one to come at me too? Yep. Mm. Two of them double moved. Mm. Two of them double moved and one gets an attack. Mm. Correct. Mm. Uh, all three of mine can attack either me or, uh, Troy. Well, not three of them can attack, two, yeah, it will get there. One of them can attack me, Jeff. Okay. What do we see? Immerse me, motherfucker. You see petrified elves. Uh, so they, they all kind of look like not perfectly formed, uh, especially the hands. They kind of look ossified and claw-like. Is this kind of like the end of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, where it's that grr, arg kind of thing? Yeah, kind of. Spoiler enemy. <laughs> no, the logo, not the fucking show. No. Come on. <laughs> I never watched the show. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. I didn't know if anyone was going to get what I was talking about. I, yeah, I mean, that was a perfect grr, arg. Like, yeah. it was perfect. <laughs> uh, the Stone Cursed comes up and takes a swing with its petrifying claws at you and gets a... 12. 24 to hit. I reject your version of truth. Shield. <laughs> Shield. <laughs> what are you, are you using I, you, you, you hit me, motherfucker. Like the... <laughs> now, does he 10 damage. Pack tactics. Okay. And make a con save. Mm. Mm. What'd you call a group of stone elves? Statuaries. Statuary. That is an 18. That'll pass. Uh, you got three on you? Yep. Oh, there's... Why are you shaking your head? This is not good. Okay. Six of them, four of us. Matt. You. The first one the gets blue. a 22. Hits. Shield. For 11 points of damage. Hang on, motherfucker. You said six points of damage? 11 points of no, damage? You said six. You're not raging. You have to declare it. Oh, if I'm it. raging, I, get, I take half damage? Yes. If, if it's bludgeoning or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So why would you only take six? No, I was just being a smartass. Oh. Second one get, f- hits for a 21. 
the fuck? For another another eleven points of damage, make two uh, Constitution saves. <laughs> Eighteen, twenty-six. Cool. Troy, one at you. Twenty-two to hit. Just take it as a no. You got no, I'm sorry. Well I have a no. plus eight shield, so you missed. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points of damage and a con save. To see if you turn to stone. I did call them petrifying claws. Uh, I passed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nord Games. That an automatic pass card. Oh, yeah. Succeed on a saving throw, oh, yes. Those beans. I'm going to guess an eight probably wasn't going to. No, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I don't have one for a save. Okay. That goes to... My wife is wasting good barbecued beans. Ordered some good barbecue beans? She's wasting them, though. They were just sitting on the counter. Still saving that brisket for later. Because mm. I am fat. I can't wait for midnight. I'm going to go to the drive-thru. <laughs> Fucking <light. laughs> Troy, you're up. I will hit it with my magical short sword. Okay. Um, that'll probably hit. 25? 25 will hit. Yeah, so I'm going to do the extra force damage bit. Uh, for 17 damage. 17 damage. Force damage, no less. 17 forced magical damage. Force! Okay. There's okay. a band we played against in Northeastern Indiana Again. from high school. That was the name of, that was their mascot, the Force. Uh, 16 hit. Miss. Right. Is that with your plus two on this sword? 18 hit. <laughs> plus two short sword. <laughs> that hits. Please write that into your sheet. For 10 damage. Plus that one two crumbles. More. Did you add the plus two to the damage as well? Add four more to those to those damages. Yeah. Still dead. Write that shit on your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's written right there. Yeah. I got it. I got it. <laughs> just not with. Yeah. I'm just gonna not. ask you every single time now. Matt, you're up. Oh, I'm sorry, Troy. Did you have a bonus or a move? No, the bonus was to add the force damage. So. Okay. Rage. I'm gonna hit the blue one. Okay. Spine on my rage. It's still. Oh. Spine on cage. Nine doesn't hit. I was trying nine to figure out how to put hit. Edder Cap in there. Okay, but a uh, 15 plus nine, uh, whatever, 24 hits. It right? does. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. For six damage. Uh, for eight damage. God damn it. Neither of you guys are on top of this today. This is great. <laughs> what was great was he, he, got got mine for me. <laughs> he got mine for me. That was what was funny. You got Lucas, any bonuses or anything? Up. Just rage. Oh. I already bonus. Oh, okay. Move. I raged. That was my moment. Oh, uh, no. No move. Uh, yeah. If I go up the wall a little, can I, will I get an attack? Yes. If you leave their reach. But what if I don't leave their reach? Then no. Okay. I'm going to go up the wall. Uh, Matt's just going to be Neo for no goddamn reason. He's just going to like stand on the wall and fight them. Yeah. Go up the wall five feet. Sure. The whole time he's going. Uh, Rage! I showed Joe the uh, lobby, building lobby scene of that, and he was like, who's up? Me? Yeah. <laughs> That's so old, but okay, so good. You will not be able to use your two-handed weapon. Why? You are still climbing. No, I'm not. Yes. I'm just walking. No. Yeah. That is not how spider climbs That is how it works. <laughs> I like how- I don't know if you noticed, the, li- the little guy is Spider-Man. <laughs> and with, like, like- And he just walks right up. And like an indignant child, Matt just looks away and just says, nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. It's the exact same thing my son does. Hey, buddy, did you poop? Nope. <laughs> well, there's shit coming out of the back of your britches. I think you pooped. Matt, nope. Did you poop? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not yet. Our title track, Elders, is brought to you by Sleep for the Weary off their debut album, Nocturnes. Learn more about Sleep for the Weary at sleepfortheweary.com or by following the link on our homepage at rancorsbrothel.com. Enjoy the cards used during the podcast? Check out those and many other excellent Nord Games products at nordgamesllc.com. Tell them the Rancors Brothel sent you. <laughs>
Want to support the podcast? Donate to the cause at patreon.com slash rancors underscore brothel. Patrons receive exclusive content, the opportunity to play games with us, the chance to win unique prizes, and more. And don't forget to join in the conversation on Facebook by following the Rancors Brothel and joining the group, Fans of the Rancors Brothel. Follow us on Twitter at at rancors underscore brothel and email your comments and suggestions to between two crits at gmail.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Most of all, keep circulating the tapes. Much love, listeners. You live through me.